Okay, welcome back everyone to another episode of The Sovereignty of Scotland. And last episode, all we did was basically just sit on our high knees and basically just let ourselves get kicked around by our rebel problem. Because I absolutely can't do much right now. Uh, but this episode, we should be able to go to the point where I'm done with bankruptcy. Because bankruptcy ends in, in March 1881. Literally, um, a little bit less than a year, like 10 months from now, we will be out of bankruptcy. That means our economy and everything will skyrocket again. And that means we could do so much more. Oh my goodness, so much more. Our country will be back in good shape. Oh my goodness, I, I really want our country to be back in good shape. And once after that point, we'll be able to get back in good shape. In fact, ah oh shoot. Okay, let's get that. Uh, accept demand so that they don't... I want I want this core province right here. Alright, let's see. And, yeah. We're just going to casually see if we can start boosting up stability slowly but surely. Hopefully, yes. Okay, I was like, no. Please don't spawn on top of there. Okay, that's our last province. Well, actually, if they were to spawn right now, I'm really close to almost finishing. So I could literally finish up and then go kill them if they try to spawn. And I really don't want to, um... Bankruptcy Lumen. You gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. We just got out of bankruptcy. I am not going back into bankruptcy just after we just got out of bankruptcy. Okay. We are literally a couple days... France, please subsidize us as much as possible. I really do need loans. To stay alive right now, I need as much help as I can get. Okay, you know what? Screw it. That's gonna that's gonna kill me a lot, but Ah oh, man. Where is that where is this light ship's power? Alright. Just see this. March first! Okay! We're finally out of bankruptcy! It took us years, years, to get out of bankruptcy. Okay. And now that we're out of bankruptcy, I severely don't want to go back into bankruptcy. Okay. And we're about to gain some prestige because we just, um, did that. Um, let's see, incorporate would actually be a good event. Create an army for our nation. Um, we can incorporate pretty fine without much issues. Um, yeah, we're, we're taking as many drastic routes as we can to make sure that we stay alive in this, people. Because, if I, li if we literally have to, like, you know, destroy our entire army for us to live, it's what's going to have to happen. I don't think... I'm pretty sure the British aren't going to declare war on me either, because they only have Portugal and the Hansa as their allies, and I have the mighty French. Even if they wanted to, they know they wouldn't be able to win. That's not a powerful enough alliance to be able to do anything. The only problem is I wish we would have gotten an alliance with Castile, because then I would have been able, like, Hey, if you declare war on me, I also have Castile as an ally. What you gonna do about that, huh, son? But, I don't, so it's kind of scary. So, okay, we're finally making some money. Good. Let's increase our money woes by a little bit. Okay. And now we have two years before the British are allowed to declare war on us. So in those two years, we're going to hope and severely pray that we can build up a good enough alliance strings that they will be deterred from trying to attack us. I mean, they could e easily defeat us. It's, it's not that problem. Hopefully we'd have a big enough alliances to help us out, though. I mean... Let's see, maybe the Hansburg, the Hasburgs would like to help us out. No, 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 don't cancel, don't cancel that. We just have to, we just have to keep improving relationships with a lot of different people in Europe, and hopefully one of them will be like, Hey, we should totally help Scotland, because Scotland's a buddy. And I'd be like, yeah, and they'd be like, yeah, and we'd be like, high-fiving each other and doing a cool little dance here and there, and Utrecht has been officially reduced back to just a one-province minor. Poor Utlet, your chances of expanding are insanely low, because you've probably been warned, and you're at war with the Hansa, oh, that's, you're gonna lose so badly to that, but, as I slowly annex my last little vassal, hopefully I won't take too much bad stuff happen to me, uh, 
My economy is doing semi okay. Okay. We're going to see if we can boost up a little bit of our stuff. And let's see. Improving relationships with Molster. Oh, I see. Molster has to be improved relationship with. They kind of don't like us as much as they used to. Well, then. That kind of makes me sad that you guys would think of us that way. Okay. And the great Hasbergs would never want us. Never want an alliance with me. Shoot. Okay. So the Hasbergs are not a good alliance. Um. Poland? Hmm. No. Would. Okay. Does anyone love our country enough for us to go do stuff? The Palatinate. Are you kidding me? Oh, the oh wait. View our country. Opinion. France, Molster, Brandenburg. Allied to rival the Papal Sea. Oh my goodness. All you guys hate me in some way or another. That disappoints me just a little bit. Okay, no. No, don't create vassals. View country. The only people that could possibly like like me right now is them. Ooh, yes! Give me a some free stability. Yes. Okay. And then improve relationships with that. And let's see. Boost stability up one more. Yes! Okay, we now have negative 2.11 to all of our base provinces, so officially now we are no longer in revolt anyone! Our country is actually in freedom! Yay! And we have literally one year before the, before the uh, freedom will be ended by the uh, arrival of the British. Who will most likely be like, hey, we want to conquer you baby, and we're gonna be like, yeah, no, we don't like you like that. So could you please go away, England? And we're gonna, gonna be like, no, hon. We get to stay here forever. And we'll be like, nah. You're kind of, you're kind of weird, England. We kind of, we kind of want to re maintain our independence. So could you please kindly back away? And then it's just gonna devolve into a really weird episode of like friends. That's how I see this war going. Just give me. You know, manpower is actually going to be more important right now. Give me some more manpower in the Highlands. Okay. And since we have just a slight amount of income, let's build like one soldier. Not very many soldiers, but just one soldier. So we look like we're semi-intimidating to the British. Because right now all we're doing is just trying to deter the British from attacking us. A very, very weakened state. Speaking of which, how many loans do I have? I have 9 loans. That's a total of how much do I have to pay? 318. Okay, so 318 equals how much I have to actually pay. That's not too bad, people. We could definitely get over that. But we still have to get through all of this craziness right now. After going through our loan period, we just have to carefully survive now. Oh. And now I'm even in more terror of the British. Like, before... Well, English. I'm even in more terror because, like, before this, I was like, eh, they, they, you know, they, they're gonna stop me, and I'd be fine, and I already know I could restart and, you know, start the series again. Now that I actually have something to lose in this, I'm like, shoot. They could actually stop me out. Maybe it's, like, one of those things I actually have something to lose now, so I'm actually kind of worried about the future. I may go paranoid and may, like, go after everyone. Maybe. I don't know. Just may become, like, a, uh, you know, horror film of some sorts. The six, okay, so I'll be about the same technology level they are in about a couple days, that's good. And, crucially, we have England as an accepted culture. Not making us any money, may I add, but at least they aren't revolting. At least they aren't revolting. I am happy if they are just angry at me, but as long as they're not revolting. We can also become an oligarchy republic. Can I become an oligarchy republic? I can become a despotic monarchy. Or an absolute monarchy, or constitutional monarchy, or enlightened despotism. Hmm. France. Wait, did, did we lose our... Did we lose our royal marriage with you guys again? Okay. Okay, France. D don't be sad. Don't be... Don't, don't be sad. I'll, I'll get it back with us. Don't worry. I, I'm a good... I'm a good... I'm a good person when it comes to royal marriages. I'll, I'll make sure we get our... You know, our son and daughter married off again, and... You know, they may not love each other, they may not like each other, but they'll happily, they'll happily do that so that we could have a son. 
And we have the third James! This is James the third, the fabled James I've been waiting for for a long time. Yay! <laughs> oh man. And increased decentralization is for a little bit longer. But I'm honestly not going to click on any of this because I still have to get the military technology going. Because we are behind in a lot of different stuff after all. After all of that that we just went through, we're going to have to just, just calmly, casually just sit on our butts and just hopefully not die. Officially now, officially, the British are in a coalition against us, first off. They are allied with Provence, Portugal, and France. Oh, shoot. France might just call us into a war just because we're at war with Provence. Which is bad. That's not exactly what I'd hoped for. Um, Castile... Might be able to get that alliance up? Might? I mean, it's a long shot, but... They might just royal marry you. Royal marriage us. Which would be really nice to see. Really, really nice to see if we can roll manage these guys. But if we can't force that down, then we're gonna have to think of a different way to get them all like, you know, happy Danny and happy of us. Prestige is still like completely splattered, but at least we're starting to increase it. It's a good thing that we're so low in terms of prestige that we're actually going towards zero. Like our monthly prestige gain is just like, yeah, look at that decay, man. 4.3 plus. Man, I love that. <laughs> That's actually, one time the decay is actually helping us out. Okay, we pay another loan. So now, now we got another loan paid. Which means now we just have eight more loans. And it might, uh, the British are at war! Oh, wow. Purge them or purge them? <laughs> that may sound mean, but it's the truth. Okay, so the British are at war right now. But France is kind of occupied. And it's, it's not really that big of a war, it's just against Savoy, Savoy, and the Papal States. Wonder what, what did you guys do to pit, to make the Pope mad? I mean, well, I was about to say, isn't the Pope yours right now? No, he isn't. And we're about to get our first Cardinal in that we haven't had in a long time. And, just repaying back loans. We're about to go, also... Get our first military technology in a very long time, maintain diplomat. And we can finally, on a good note, integrate our good vassals over here in Ireland. Which, by doing so, will officially uh, make it so that we have a good, stable control over Ireland. And potentially have a at least a semi-decent army. Yeah, it seems like England's just crushing all those new ships. Yeah, I expected England to do that. They didn't seem like one of those people that'd get pushed around by it. Revolt's possible. Shoot. Okay. Where? I am so gonna deal with these guys and just harsh treatment every single one of those provinces. No? Good. <laughs> I don't want revolts. I definitely don't want revolts. We just got through a period of no revolts. It was a happy time. And integrated monster, yay! Prestige, yay! More prestige and administration power, yay! We could create a proper fleet. So how much would that cost us? Holy moly, Gazzoli! We have a lot of ships we could build. Uh, wow! <laughs> oh my goodness, and our force limit is not exactly what I call cheap anymore. You know what I mean, people? It's it's no longer cheap. And let's combine these guys and... You know, actually, do we still have any of our transports? Yes, we have one cog. It's the one cog that survived the entire, like, purge of our army. Well, that one cog will become very important. And I'm gonna look at our trade. Right now, Norway controls most of the trade. I would expect that. Um, over here, we control just a tiny bit more trade than we usually did. And this is a node I'm probably gonna collect from because... Like, this just seems like the smartest node, because it just seems like the smartest node. And... Hmm... We have a semi-good army. Semi-decent army. We still don't have enough to go and crush the British. Like, Cargo... Cog, could you guys go scout out for us for a second? How much men do the British have on their mainland? I mean, if they have a... A big force, I'm not going to... They have a... I think they're building up an army. 
Hmm. That's kind of weird. Well, it's still at, they're still at war with Britney, so boy, in the, in the States. And, hmm. We'd have to claim, if we claimed our rival of Oakley, they're allied with Muscovy, which wouldn't be exact. Yeah, there's still no personal union. That would not be a smart idea. Um, let's get our fleets paid for. That way we can start making some money from, like, you know, actual trade power. Let's get that. France has canceled subsidies! Oh, no. That may have actually influenced just, just a little bit. Okay, but now we're actually paying for our own troops again, and we're actually paying for our ships again. We're actually getting more money this way. And our military leader, our great... Is that the general that led us through many things? No, our other general. Ah, what was his name? Oh, dude, what was the general that led us through the great battles against England? That without him, we probably would be dead right about now. Also, let's get some new cavalry... Wait, oops. Not yet. Not yet. Next level. Yeah. Level 9 and 10 is when you get new, new like units. Wait until then and then we'll do it. So claim Oakley. I won't do it now. I won't claim that province now. I will do it eventually. I will go conquer and go conquer lots and lots of Norway. But for right now, I just need to make sure I don't die. Like, there was really a chance I could die. And right now we're playing it very, very defensive. Very, very defensive. Knut is a vassal of England. Shoot. That means this is going to be a completely, like, England versus Scotland battle in the future. Like, this is this is basically what it's gearing towards, people. I mean, it's like, neither side is even fakely trying to be, like, friends with each other. We're just like, yep, we're going to go to war with each other. Just give it time. Just give it time. We'll all be at war with each other. Oh, oh. Come on, no, no, um, I'm gonna stop recording now because I'm, my game's freezing up on me, people, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like, end things now, so, see you guys in one second. Okay, so I'm not sure if we are, we are still recording, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, edit that part out and basically go back to the point where I officially kind of stopped recording. And you guys won't see any of that because it kind of froze there for a quick second and then went back to working, which I was really happy about because I didn't want to restart this game. But yeah, it's... Ever since I've installed the new expansion pack, the only thing I've really gotten mad about is the fact that, like, all these new things basically make the game run slower, and, like, it makes it harder, I guess, to play some of the stuff I want to play. And right now, we're still, like, building up. Rival Rise of the Pretender. Shoot! Oh, bloody. Oh, bloody. They had to enter Molster. Oh, move my troops out of there! <laughs> Save the troops! Okay, um, yep, that happened, everyone. So, who takes over my dynasty now that I've officially died? Officially speaking, I could end up in a personal union with the French, which then, well, actually, James Stewart's already born, so I won't end up in a personal union, but if he dies, I end up in a personal union. Okay, not exactly the greatest situation in the world. Also, uh, can I support a military? I can support my military! Oh, sweet! Okay, what we're going to do is going to quickly raise up and kind of cheaply build... No, just give me 10 military power. I already have enough, like, problems already as it is. Um, we're kind of going to raise up a cheaply built army. They don't have any cavalry over here. We're going to raise up a cheaply built army. Um, and let them rise up, um, 
You guys go pick up the army from right here. You just go to transfer them across the Irish Sea. And yeah, now we're in a personal union, guys. So that means we really can't do anything for like uh, at least 12 years. So the 12 years of doing nothing begins now. All right. And we're also transferring over. But at least we get to stay entertained by the fact the rebels are just all like rebelly up or rebelling it up. So let's see, let's get these guys right here. Get these guys all like semi competent. And we're gonna give our one horseman unit. And hopefully that might be enough to like do stuff. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna okay. Ah oh, I wanna thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of the Sovereignty of Scotland, but we are getting off to a little bit of a rough start, but I feel like after we get through this beginning part of the game, we should be able to have a clear, smooth sailing. I didn't mean to take a joke there, but I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.